Yo, UberTube, episode number 33, and I'm here with a very special father, visionary, leader, passionate about education. What are you doing today? Well, I'm raising money for my campaign for a school board, and I promise to build on a legacy of Richie Garcia, who is now sitting in the seat that I'm running for in District G. Richie Garcia has been working to make sure that Latino families, African-American families, needs are being met and I commit to building on his legacy, along with Tom Wyndham, Dr. Tom Wyndham, who also was in the board in the 1980s. Wow, and are those guys currently on the board right now? Or is... Those guys are current, Richard Garcia is leaving the board. Okay. Uh, Thomas Wyndham was on the board, and we need uh, a diversity of leadership on the board, and so I'm happy to know them and build on their legacy. So this is for the Boulder Valley School District. How many students are in this district? There are over 30 something thousand students in the district. Wow. And that's a lot of students to be concerned about. And how do we make sure that those students are graduating with rigorous academic skill sets so they can thrive in their profession or go on to further study and graduate programs. And is there a gap right, that, right now that you think causing that not to happen that you might be able to help fill? Well, I think we wanna make sure that we diversify the curriculum a lot of students are asking, why am I studying this and how is it relevant? So anytime we can get more hands-on experiences, having students engage in the community around community engagement, community service and internships where the community and the students are building a healthier community. Awesome. And then uh, your current job, you were telling me a little about what is your current joy of being? My current job oh. is I get to work with a lot of excellent executives across the world and the country in leadership. Uh, whether it's in business and health, executive coaching through Delta Developmental. We work on diversity, equity, and inclusion, ensuring that people are making decisions, not diversity as a lay on something, laying, not diversity to lay on top of something, but how do we make decisions across the board around equity as we make decisions in our strategic planning and direction and operation. And how do people support you? Uh, people support me, they can go to uh, Stewart for Boulder Valley School District, go to our webpage, look us up, learn more about our campaign initiatives, and of course they can volunteer, they can put up a uh, yard sign, host a meet and greet, and ultimately make the decision to support us and give us a donation. And then what's your favorite pl part about living in Boulder? The people, the people, Boulder is healthy, people are, are innovative, people are creative and people are concerned about the environment and they're concerned about how do we make a difference in the lives of those that we meet and in our families. And final question, how many children do you have? I have one child, she's in Santaris and she has some caring adults. When we all have caring adults and mentors in our life or advocates, we can excel. And my daughter has waited till she's gotten to high school before she can really feel safe and feel that she has advocates in her school. Unfortunately, she didn't have that when she was in junior high and elementary school, but now she has that. And so I wanna, I wanna make sure that children and students have those skill sets and have the support systems before they get to high school and not have to wait for them. Well, you're such a great speaker. I would like to add a couple more real quick ones. What's your favorite thing about your daughter and what do you think about the Coach Prime effect? My favorite thing about my daughter is that I wake up every day and I'm proud of her. Yeah. And I send her a message letting her know I'm proud because students get so many mm -hmm. bad messages. And when a parent can say to their child, I'm proud of you, I love you, I hug you, that is like medicine for the soul, mm -hmm. not just for the child, but also for us as adults uh, w w when we love the ones who are closest to us. And the prime effect, <laughs> my God, this city is on fire. I get emails from my friends across the country and globe who are saying, I wish I could be at the game. And so whatever Coach Prime is doing, we need to support him because at the end of the day, what affects one of us affects all of us. And when one of us are lit up and fired up, then it makes a pathway for all of us. Wow, yeah, I love I love those guys and I love what they're doing. And I have got to meet Coach Prime and his son and they are incredible people as you are. Yeah. Thank you for doing what you're doing. I'm gonna look in to see how I can support you. All right, appreciate this. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Okay, all right.